Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be discussing the associative property for binary operations. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Associative property on binary operation requires that a certain binary operation should yield the same answer even if the ordering of its terms or the grouping of its terms is changed. So in this case, the left side has the grouping for A asterisk B. This part will be operated first. After getting their answer, it will be combined to C using asterisk. However, on the other side, operate first B and C, their answer will be combined with A. To better understand, let's have the first example. So for every real number, we have this binary operation omega defined by A omega B equals 2A times 3B. We have to prove if this is associative. So just like what we did in commutative property, we will not be getting numbers as representative for the real numbers. Instead, we will be operating with variables. However, for associative, we will use this equation. We will be dealing with A omega B first. Afterwards, we define a third number, which is omega C. We have to take note that C here is also a real number. This should be equal to A omega b omega c. Let's start with this left side. So for the left side, we have a omega b omega c. Let's start with this part. a omega b is 2 times the first number, which is a, and then 3b, three, 3 times the second number. This will be related using omega c. But before actually relating it, we simplify this first. 2a times 3b, 2 times 3 is 6, a times b is ab. This will now be the first term for 6ab omega c. Meaning, if you will compare this to our definition of the binary operation, 6ab will be the new value for a. C will be the new value for B. In other words, if we're going to operate this, 6AB omega C, we have to take 2 times the first number. In this case, the first number is 6AB. And then times 3 and the second number, which is C. 2 times 6 is 12, AB. This will be multiplied to 3C. 12 times 3 is 36. A times B times C is ABC. So this is the answer for our left side of the equation. Let's solve the second part, which is this one. A omega B omega C. So we operate first the first quantity or the parenthesis B omega C. B will serve as the first number. So meaning we have here 2B and then here is 3C. This is A omega. 2B times 3C, that is 6BC. And then afterwards, we can just remove the parenthesis like this, and then we will now use 6bc as the second number for this binary operation. So we have here 2 times the first number, which is a, multiplied to 3 times the second number represented by 6bc. So let's just continue here. 2 times A is 2A. 3 times 6 is 18 BC. And then let's multiply. 2 times 18 is 36. A times B times C is ABC. Notice that we arrived with the same answer just like the left side in the equation. So we have proved this 
meaning the two sides are really equal to each other. And the answer for here is yes, they are commutative. You can write it as a conclusion. So let's do that. We have therefore omega is associative. On real numbers. Next part, we have the second example. This time, we have a different binary operation. We have a circle with a cross in it defined by a to the b plus b. We have to think if this is associative. So you may pause this video and try proving if this is really associative using the first example as your guide. After 10 seconds, we will resume this discussion. For this one, we will be operating first A and B. Afterwards, we operate C. Is it equal to A circle cross of B circle cross C? Let's start with the left side. We have A circle cross B circle cross C. So we have here A, the first number, will be the base. Then B is the second number plus the second number. This is operated with C. We cannot do anything about it, so we will now proceed to this main binary operation. This entire quantity will serve as the first number. So this is the first number, A raised to the B plus b. Let's copy it. According to our definition, the first number should be raised to the second number. The first number should be raised to the second number, meaning we have to put c here, plus the second number. So take note that we cannot use the power rule in this example because there is a plus sign between the two terms in the parentheses. So we will just leave it as it is because we cannot expand this since we don't know the value of C. We just have to investigate the next side with the hopes that the next side will result like this as well. So we have A cross circle B cross circle C. Let's operate the parenthesis first. So the first number will be the base raised to the second number, which is C plus C. Next, we cannot do anything about it. Let's proceed by operating the second binary operation. So we have the first number as A, which is raised to this entire second number. Oh, it looks very different already with the first one. So we have B raised to C plus C plus this second number, b to the c plus c. So obviously, they're very different because in this part, we have a number raised to a certain exponent and that exponent has another exponent in it. So with that being said, therefore, this binary operation is not associative. So in associative property, even if we have just defined two numbers, A and B, we can define another number, C, as long as that C is still a member of the same set, just like A and B. We are doing that just to prove the associativity of the binary operation. And just like other properties, the answer on the left side of the equation should also be equal to the right side of the equation. Just like the first example that we have, wherein omega is defined as an associative binary operation for the real numbers. So here you still need to be familiar with multiplication, addition, subtraction, and division because those different basic operations are involved in the definition of the binary operation. 
So that's it for the associative property of binary operations. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.